Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing the importance of potential dividers for high voltage measurement. Let us see what do we mean by potential divider. How it is going to help for measuring high voltage. That means the potential divider that is a device which used to measure high voltage AC then high voltage DC and inverse voltage. It obeys based on the principle of potential division rule or potential division formula. Consider a network shown here. The total voltage is V that has been divided with the help of resistors R1 and R2. I would like to calculate the voltage across R2. How do you calculate voltage across R2? We can apply voltage division formula. How to apply voltage division formula? You can directly observe over here. That means V1, V1 equal to, the total voltage is V. Let me apply V. And resistance corresponding to V1 is R2. That is R2 divided by, the total value of resistance are R1 plus R2. By using this formula, we can able to calculate the voltage across R2. This formula is known as voltage division formula or voltage division rule. So by using voltage division rule, we can able to measure high voltage. So this is actually the importance of potential divider. Now, let us learn how do we measure high voltage by using potential divider. The schematic diagram of the measurement by using potential divider is shown on the screen. The total high voltage, as you can observe the total high voltage has been divided with the help of two impedances Z1 and Z2. Now, the area, this particular area is known as high voltage arm, HV arm. Now, area corresponding to this portion, that is known as low voltage arm. The element corresponding to high voltage arm is Z1 and elements corresponding to low voltage arm, that is Z2. What you are supposed to do is, the voltage across Z2, that means low voltage arm, that will be directly connected to measurement devices such as either CRO or you can use DS also through a delay cable or you can call coaxial cable. This is also known as coaxial cable. Then you will be getting the sample at CRO or DSO. Either you can use CRO or DSO. Elaboration of CRO is cathode ray oscilloscope and the elaboration of DSO that is known as digital storage oscilloscope. This is more advanced. In place of CRO you can use DSO. Nowadays we will be employing uh, DSO in spite of using CRO. Now you are able to get the sample of voltage at CRO. Now by manipulating, by using the calculation, you can able to measure how much voltage you have applied externally. Our main intention is to measure the voltage which you have applied externally. That is the ultimate goal. So through the potential divider, I can easily measure. So this is the way how to measure high voltage uh, by using potential divider. But one more important information, the impedance. Z1 will be always greater than Z2. Why? Because this is actually high voltage arm and this region is known as low voltage arm. Usually, uh, we have to design. While doing the design, we have to take care that Z1 will be always greater than Z2. This is the way how to measure high voltage by using potential divider. In addition to that, you have to consider the meter impedance. It will be very less. Whenever you are considering the meter, um, we have to consider certain meter impedance. Okay, that should be considered while doing the design. That is negligible, but uh, some, some part has to be added while doing the design. While doing high voltage measurement by using potential divider, you need to consider one more terminology that is known as attenuation factor. What do you mean by attenuation factor? It is actually the ratio of V1 of T by V2 of T. V1 of T is the total voltage across the arm. That means the total voltage comes over here and V2 of T means the voltage across low voltage arm. If you take the ratio between uh, V1 of T and V2 of T, you are able to get attenuation factor. If you simplify, you will be getting 1 plus Z1 by Z2. 1 plus Z1 by Z2 that is known as attenuation factor. Usually we denotes by using a letter K. That point has to be considered while doing measurement by using potential divider. So this is the basic information regarding potential divider. So let me conclude.
पोटेंशियल डिवाइडर फॉलोस वोल्टेज डिवीजन फॉर्मूला और पोटेंशियल डिवीजन रूल मोर ओवर बाय यूजिंग पोटेंशियल डिवाइडर यू कैन एबल टू मेजर हाई वोल्टेज एसी हाई वोल्टेज डीसी एंड इंपल्स वोल्टेज सो दिस इज द ब्रीफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट पोटेंशियल डिवाइडर इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिवाइडर व्हिच विल बी एम्प्लॉइंग इन हाई वोल्टेज मेजरमेंट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो